Tech TV, experience educational television. Hello and welcome to Tech TV. My name is Alfreda Wene Nordeli. Currently, we are at the Royal Parade Grounds at KNUST, where the SRC, in collaboration with the College of Science, is organizing a food fair. And we are here to ask the various people around what is actually going on here and how they view the food fair. Stay tuned for more. Hello. Hi. I'm please your name. Is, I'm Hakim. And which region is this? This is the region. Okay, can you tell us a little about the food here? Yes, but in northern region actually we are blessed with all sorts of foods. But we, we, we can talk about the yam pounded yam, we can talk about tubani, that is made of beans. But today being just for lunch, we prepared what we talk, what we called or what the Ashantis here called um diewu. That is we called it tuzafi. So if I say tuzafi, the Ashantis here will refer to us diewu. That is what we are here to serve today. Actually it's made of corn flour and then a little of kokonti just to make it flavor. So that is the kokonti. And we have here the ayoyo. It's actually some leaves. You just take it and then you prepare. So what that we have there is the ayoyo. Then here is a stew just to complement it. There are some people who can't actually eat their tuzafi with the ayoyo alone. As such, they need a little bit of the stew to complement it or just to arouse the appetite. So yes, we have a stew here. And then after you are done, we have here samia. That is supposed to be the dessert. It is also peculiar to the northern region. Popularly here, we, we, all we know is sobolo. So today we decided to serve something different, which is samia. And we have the watermelon seed nut, which has been roasted. And it can be taken just like the maize when you roast it. Now we have the quinoa bread. Instead of the usual flour and sugar, we have tiger nuts. Uh, milk and we have coconut milk and then we have the quinoa which is high in um, the I mean essential the essential amino acids and it's a high antioxidant these fights cancer hypertension um, body fat it reduces all that diabetes and it's also sugar free it has very high in protein and then we have the quinoa salad instead of the usual salad that we this does not have any of the dressings no you can get when you contact us you can have it for you and we have the fruit cake and this is to promote healthy living have it uh, at events where just yes so this is watermelon this is for this is mango everything here is real fruit that can be eaten yeah fresh fruit so instead of the usual that we use at weddings we are promoting healthy living because the, um, the, the prevalence in chronic disease is really increasing it's getting too much so when you have this at your event then you are good to go high in antioxidants to prevent high blood pressure diabetes and all the other chronic diseases that is really prevailing in our country so we are the Kenya ST Wellness Center around the um, swimming pool, the Kenya ST pool side. Yes, my name is Annie. So I see a lot of things. I see what Kasa, uh, garnet cake. Yes, and this is Tom Brown mango jam, and then all sorts of drinks. I would like to ask, did you guys do this? Yes, please. We did all these as well. Okay, here on Kenya. Yes, here on Kenya campus. We have a production lab around the commercial area where we do most of our production. Now I'm actually intrigued. It's, it's actually a nice production, but before I go, how do you view this food fair? Was it your expectations or you expected more? Yes, yeah. We we expected this. And you know Ghanaians are eating food. Everybody eats. And so when we bring food on the forefront, it's, it's nice. And we all enjoy being here. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. And please, a little introduction of who you are. Uh, my name is Jane Edna Nyami, the Executive Director of National Commission on Culture. Yep. Okay, I would like to ask, what exactly was the motivation behind this food fair? Thank you very much. You know, I met one of the lecturers at a function in Accra, and when she heard that I was in a, a commission on culture, she was very much interested in me because of a program that they have initiated on campus in regards to the, the food, the culture, and the sciences. So I was also very much interested for the simple fact that our traditional foods are being left behind and we're all moving for the adulterated ones per se. 
So, so far, how do you feel the patronage of today's show? Is it to your expectation or it's actually... Oh, actually, it's, it's to my expectation. You know, it's the beginning. And beginning of everything is sometimes hard. Some of the regions I questioned that, you know, for example, Eastern region, they have different tribes. We have the Krobos, we have the Kweus, we have the Kwapems, and a lot of more. So I was expecting that each tribe will prepare something that is symbolic in their uh, tribe to portray what they have. Um, yeah, the Nigerians and the foreign students, <laughs> okay, they did well because they portrayed a variety of foods coming from their country. I think it's been good. So is this going to be like a one-time thing or we hope to see more either semesterly or yearly? Um, I believe it should be annually, especially on the uh, chocolate day, the Valentine's Day. We are thinking that if we can replicate it on other campuses where we have the youth around in other university campuses, tertiary institutions, and then we are even thinking of even sending it to the basic schools for them to be aware of our rich traditional foods that we have so that the, the craze for the international ones will be shifted back to our traditional ones.